the primary impact was in the initial four years after the event. Um, I struggled academically. I struggled very much in Chapel Hill and in college. Uh, when I was 17 and went off to college, I had a very hard time, um, more so than others, uh, forming new friendships and uh, especially friendships with, with boys. Uh, and I had academic problems. What were the, con when, when we spoke, and it became very clear how deeply you felt about this and the need that you wanted to remain confidential. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, so I was watching carefully throughout the summer. Well, my original intent, I just want to remind, was to communicate with everyone when there was still a list of candidates who all seemed to be, just from my perspective, from what I could read, equally qualified. And I was in a hurry to try to get the information forward, but didn't quite know how to do that. However, once he was selected and it seemed like he was popular and that the, it was an, a sure vote, I was calculating daily the, the risk benefit for me of coming forward and wondering whether I would just be jumping in front of a train that was headed to where it was headed anyway, and that I would just be personally annihilated. How did you decide to come forward? Uh, ultimately, because reporters were sitting outside of my home and fr t trying to talk to my dog through the window um, to calm the dog down, and a reporter appeared in my graduate classroom and I mistook her for a student and she came up to ask me a question and I thought that she was a student and it turned out that she was a reporter. <laughs>